any atomic physicists in the room? No. No. Okay. But when, this is a deep lecture tonight. This is going to be about subatomic particles. You might know that about 2,300 years ago, a guy named Dimitri or Democritus tried to figure out what was the smallest unit of matter. And if you had the sharpest knife in the world and cut matter down until you couldn't cut it anymore, that piece of matter he called an indivisible piece, atom. That's what, where it comes from. It comes from the Greek. And people believed that for about 2,000 years. And then along came some more scientists who realized, wait a second, we figured out there's stuff smaller than an atom. There's this nucleus and there's these protons. And then after that, there were quarks. And now it's going even farther to subatomic elementary particles that are not being called particles, but strings. And that's what I'm here tonight about, string theory, giving you my string theory lecture. So I brought a string, but of course, this is not a string. This is a rope. But if I brought a string, you wouldn't see it. So I've got to bring something to illustrate it. I've got a short string. I've got a long string, you know, like that. And I've got somewhere, somewhere I've got, I've got a medium-sized string. So we've got three strings. And if we look at them, they're different lengths. Maybe we should make them all the same length. So I've got one short string, OK? And I've got one medium-sized string. And I've got one long string. Now, you're saying they're all the same length. But no, that's not true. They're all different lengths. They just look like that. Let's take one string, we'll take one string, and we'll take that, to make it simpler, we'll work with two strings, okay? Is that okay with everybody? Yeah. But maybe it's better just to work with one string. <laughs> so, one, a string. Now, the topology of a string, that's the, that's the point, all right? You've got two ends on a string, okay? And you've got a middle, okay? Two ends and a middle, but if you take off the ends, you've got an endless, you've got an endless string. I'm going to put the ends in the middle, so we've got a loop. That's another form of string. If you study this string theory, you'll find out there are endless strings and strings with ends. So here we've got an endless string. But what am I going to do with that? I mean, that's silly. Let's put the, let's put the ends back on the string. Okay, now, we're, now the thing with this is that, you know, we're talking subatomic particles, we're talking positive and negative. So if you just rub the string like that and rub the string right there, the two ends go together and you're stuck again with the end. That's why I always carry an extra pair of ends. I've got them here. Yeah, I've got an extra pair of ends. So now we're back to a string with two ends. But you know, if you can have, a, if you can take the ends off the string, then it must be theoretically possible to take the middle off the string. Okay, so let's try that. See if the middle comes off the string. Well, wait a second. It does, but it doesn't. This is silly. So we might as well just put the middle back on the string. Okay, now we're back to where we were with the lecture with a string with two ends and the middle, right? Every string has two ends and the middle. But if you cut the string in the middle in a second, you <laughs> then end up with two strings. So we've got three strings that look like they're all the same length. We've got one short, right? And we've got one medium, and we've got one long. And you're saying, no, that's, they're all the same length. That's just you're silly. Look, you've got one long, one short, and one medium string. That's like, oh. 